Hey guys, welcome back for another video. You are not looking at a $2,000 microscope and camera setup. You are looking at an under $40 investment. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So if like me, you're getting into this hobby more and you've realized that there are some things that you definitely need to see more up close and you hate loops, well, you've been looking into microscopes. And maybe like me, you've decided, wow, they are really expensive. Well, I started looking at other options. This is one that I thought of not too long ago. This is called an otoscope. I wanted something to give me the effect of a microscope without the drawbacks of some of the other solutions I've seen. The problem with buying it as a dedicated microscope is they have extreme magnification. The bad thing is it requires you to get just a millimeter or two away from the surface you're looking at, meaning this is in the way of whatever you're trying to do. And they're often a little bit bigger. So you can't actually do any work. I needed something that could be positioned in a way so that I could even use screwdrivers and not have it bumping the camera. I use this one as a proof of concept. This is an older version that I had that's Wi-Fi, and it's got too many quirks to be really production viable, but it showed me that the end result, yes, was viable. Fast forward to now, and I've been using this, which is a newer version that's wired. So this plugs in, actually right here, just via a USB cable, and I'm gonna go through pros and cons, some little quirks, but luckily no showstoppers once you get it set up. Now, one thing I have to say is whether you go with this particular version or this particular brand or this type of device, the one thing you really need to be concerned about and pay attention to is what they work with. Some will work with Windows or Mac computers. Some will also work with mobile devices. Some only work with Android, some only iOS, et cetera, et cetera. So I wanted to use my iPad, so I made sure to get one that works with iOS. This particular one works with iOS or Android. It's just an app that you install. So I could even use on my Chromebook, which runs Android apps if I wanted an even bigger screen, but my iPad is big enough. But basically it's just a webcam at this point. It's a 1080p webcam that you plug in and it's just sending a signal. It just happens to be the size of a pen with a built-in ring light. You've got four positions of light on the end, off, low, medium, and high. So you don't even need any kind of special or great desk lighting to get a perfect picture out of this every time. It's built into the device. Here's your switch for controlling the light. Here's your power. This is if you just wanna snap a picture, but we're not gonna be using this. This is your power bar. Now you get about an hour and a half of battery out of this, however, you can just plug in a battery bank and charge it while you're using it and basically have unlimited power. So this really is just a portable 1080p webcam just sitting here, sending out a display to whatever you want to use to either view and or record on. Now I'm recording, so it's very important for me to have easy usable files. This one will save the files directly to your device. On iOS, it just puts it right in your photos folder. So you can just drag and drop your photos and videos just like you took them with the built-in camera. Simple, easy, they're MPEG files. They work right in your editor and you're good to go. I mean, there's absolutely nothing special to using it whatsoever. The setup that I'm using, because you do need obviously a way to position it, I'm just using a little soldering station helping hand. Now I'll put a link down to one that's similar to this, this particular model I've had since I was a little kid. It's an OG Radio Shack model. But you can see it's just literally one of these jobby doos where you get the posable bars and joints and just some spring clamps on the end. It just holds the camera in place. You've got, like I said, a little over half an inch of clearance underneath the device. Here, I'll show you from a side view what it looks like here after I get it fired up. Now, obviously you can route the wires and tidy up however you like. This is just for demonstration purposes. So you can see how much room you have. This is the depth that you need to get correct focus. And then if you do need to work top down while you're using it, you got the view right there. You just come in with your screwdriver, do what you need to do. Super easy. And of course, you know, a bigger iPad or a bigger screen makes it even easier. <laughs> need to put some oil on that jewel 
and it's absolutely tiny to see, no problem. So let's talk about the quirks. Luckily, they are just pretty much a setup thing. When you launch the app, and there's a little card that comes with the app, scan the barcode, you install the app, and then there's another barcode to remove the ads and basically activate the app. The instructions say to scan the barcode when the app calls for it. Well, they, it never calls for it. It calls for an activation code and wants you to pay two bucks. Don't do that. All you do is scan that second barcode at any time and you get an activation code to paste into the app and then it's all set. So you just fire up the app as long as it's plugged in and the unit is turned on, it immediately shows you your picture. All you've got is photo and video and the record button will either take a picture or start recording. That's all you do. You just start and stop recording with here. Now you'll notice it's a square picture in the app. It is actually recording widescreen normal 16 by 9, 1080p. And when you look in your actual photos folder, it's in there as a completely normal file. It's actually better quality in the recorded version than the live. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, this is really simple, plug and play. It's basically just a webcam that gives you a great picture with a lot of versatility to actually work. Plenty of room, easy to angle, especially if you mount it with one of these. So if you're interested, that's the device, that's how it works, that's how easy it is, and you can't argue with the results. See you next time.